Hey, what's up? It's Ike Paws, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a really cool way to get lots of traffic to your printables, your squeeze pages, whatever you want to send traffic to. Um, something that I like to call the, a showcase pin or a pin buster, okay? And that is basically a display of your products all put together in one to one pin, enticing the people on Pinterest to click on through and onto your either your sales page where you're selling your product or if you're doing some kind of um, giveaway to your uh, to your squeeze page okay so here i am on pin my pinterest and one of my pinterest because i have two actually and you know it's, i can you can see there's a lot of traffic that i get from pinterest i cannot complain okay one of the ways i get traffic is uh using hashtags let, let me shrink that up a little bit so you can see get a bird's eye view using not hashtags i'm sorry but um transparent text inside of my printable products this way it does two things first off it shows off the product that I have okay second it uh, it prohibits thieves from you know just downloading the, the image because they you know they have this huge watermark for lack of a better word across the game which which protects my pins right and I can add these to Pinterest safely and confidently knowing these little pins are gonna go out and not all, but a good number of them are going to bring back traffic for me onto either my squeeze pages or my products. Okay, really cool. But that's something that I've done already uh, with Crispy Prints. What I'm gonna, what I'm right now creating is the Pin Buster Generator. Okay. Now I, I found myself the, the the reason why I created Crispy Prints is actually for me. I wanted to make my printable business even e even easier for me. Okay. Um, and I created Crispy Prints. I was very proud of myself, blah, blah, blah. But then I started noticing that I spent a lot of time on Canva putting these pin book, uh, showcase type of pins together. It took me a lot of time. I had to resize each of uh, the printables within the bundle into one pin. It was a time suck. So I've, I went ahead and created this. Um, at the time of making this video, it's not released to the general public. It will be very soon. I got to do some touch-ups. But... Let me show you how it works, okay? So I have the main the main header, which I'm gonna put in, in this example is Bible. I, I created uh, actually a video on, on a Bible bundle I created. You can, have, you can check out the video down below, make sure you check it out. It's a really good watch if you wanna learn a nice niche to get into. So Bible, Bible for kids. And put in here, uh, I don't know, printable bundle. Like that. And here uh, you might want to put a, a CTA call to action or your domain. Let's put a nice little call to action. Uh, make sure your kids enjoy the Bible. Okay, like that. And uh, let me let me uh, add some specific colors. Okay, so uh, let me put in a dark red for the Bible for kids, and let me put in a dark brown for um printable bundle okay and let me select these are all the backgrounds for my pins i got i don't know i think i i, I think i got 14 or, or 12 let me see one two three four yeah 12 okay i select them all and now i'm just gonna simply add in my um my my pins okay not my pins sorry my, my uh, image of the product okay add one add two let me speed this up for you. Okay, so I added all 12 printables that uh, composes my bundle into this generator. I selected all of these background images and I'm gonna create 12 pins uh, in a flash. Check this out, you're gonna, you're gonna be really impressed. I'm gonna click create pins. It's gonna take about four to five minutes to create all of these. Now imagine doing this by hand on Canva uh, it takes takes a long time, let me tell you. Um, that's why I created this little tool. Let me uh, pause the video and come back in, in three minutes. Okay, Crispy Prints just put out my uh, my printable pins, or I should say pin, uh, Pinterest pins. As you can see, I got 12 pins, all with different backgrounds, showcasing my Bible bundle, okay? Really cool, really fast. And these different pins individually, are gonna go out and get me traffic to my sites. That is the best part, okay? Now, uh, you'll notice that 
these uh, these uh, different images are set up with a drop shadow. Let me blow that up for you. See, see that drop shadow here in the background? That drop shadow, okay? Just like I would on Canva, okay? And you can see you can put in, there's different uh, fonts towards the top. And these are the fonts that work uh, best for me and other uh, Pinterest users. You have a, a script type of font um, uh, as, as a subheadline and you have I don't know what font this is. I forgot which font I'm using here, but a standard looking font as your main headline. And of course, towards the bottom, you can either put in your, I mean, you can do both, I believe. You can put in your domain and a call to action or just a call to action. Uh, make sure your kids, oh, I forgot to put your, I can't use this. Make sure you kids know, <laughs> this, is, this is not correct. But yeah, you, you see what I mean. You can put whatever you want in there. Once you're done, you're going to take your image, excuse me, you're going to take your PDF, I, I, I should say, the one you just downloaded, and you're going to, um, you're going to want to make images out of them, images out of them, excuse me. How do you do that? Very simple. You go to pdf2image.com, and uh, where are you? It's very simple. You take your pin file you just created, you know, these uh, 12 pins right here. You drop them in here. This is gonna convert these uh, PDF pages into images and you just download, okay? Then you open and you just add them to Pinterest. You put in, you, you give them each individual um, um, headlines and descriptions. Don't forget to use the my Pinterest um, keyword tool here. So if we put in Bible games for kids, you see that people on Pinterest, excuse me, people on Pinterest are looking for these types of um, uh, solutions, for lack of a better word, uh, on Pinterest, right? Bible games for kids. So let's put in Bible activities. Again, a viable niche to jump into. Bible activities for kids, Bible activities for kids printables, Bible activities for kids crafts. Okay, you can see, you see the point here, okay? So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you wanna grab my uh, Pinterest tool right here, make sure you jump on them uh, down below right here and register and I'll send that over to you in a little bit. Okay, be good, take care and have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.